20 years is perhaps only a fragment of Jerusalem's 5,000 years of history. A history chiseled into its landscape by successive conquests, by destruction, exile, foreign rule, and finally by Jewish renewal. When the state of Israel was finally established, Jerusalem remained a divided city. The old city's Jewish quarter and all of the eastern half were in Jordanian hands. We were left with the longings and hopes with which to watch the Sleeping Beauty for all of 19 years. Then came the Six Day War, victory, reunification. Once the Jordanian-built dividing wall was demolished, Keren Kaimit's forestation programs began to play a major role in the reunification of the city. Right in the middle of the city lies the Garden of Jerusalem's rebuilders, built on lands reclaimed by the JMF. It stretches around the old city walls from Jaffa Gate to the Dun Gate. A major tourist attraction, it has recently been extended by the Jerusalem municipality to stretch from the Damascus Gate to the Lion Gate and adjoins the archaeological garden at the southern entrance to the Temple Mount. The restored campus of the Hebrew University on Mount Scopus was built on lands acquired by the JNF in 1918. To this day, the JNF still has plans. A scenic observation overpass and a campus promenade stretching some four kilometers around the summit of the mount will embrace an awe-inspiring panorama of the holy city, the Dead Sea, and the new JNF forest between Mount Scopus and Ma'ale Adumim. By 1969, the Jewish National Fund had completed the purchase of vast tracts of land for what soon became the new suburbs of Greater Sanhedria, Ramot Eshkol, Yaakov, French Hill, East Talpiot, and Gilo. These new suburbs are today embraced by some 11 million trees planted by the JNF to create the green belt around the city. The first link in this chain is the Jerusalem forest at the western side of the city. The largest of the city's woodlands, it stretches north, bordering on the Ramot Park. The Ramot Park of Jerusalem's Redeemers offers some 500 acres of picnic sites, playgrounds and walk trails in the pine woods to the city's northwestern neighborhoods. Sited over ancient quarries dating back to the time of the Second Temple, the park's central plaza gives the visitor a beautiful view of the Jerusalem skyline. Future plans are to extend the park as far as the Orthodox Jewish quarters of Greater Sanhedria and the Arab suburb of Shoafat. The Peace Forest, southeast of the city, was planted immediately after the Six-Day War in what was once no man's land. Today it stands as a landmark to JNF efforts in Jerusalem. From its promenade, the visitors can catch a breathtaking view of the entire city, both old and new. The Gilo Park, at the southern approaches to the city, is another link in the green belt surrounding it. It offers the residents of the newly built suburb and the Arab villagers from nearby Beit Safafa picnic facilities under the shade of trees planted by the JNF. The recreation area is the park's central attraction. Current plans call for the addition of playing fields and tennis courts and the construction of a recreation center in the main Gilo Valley. Anyone born on the Mount of Olives sees Jerusalem laid out at his feet. Jerusalem, the city held sacred by the world's three great monotheistic religions. For the Muslims, this is the third most sacred city in the world.
For Christians, this is the place where Jesus preached, was arrested, was crucified. For the Jews, this is our eternal capital city, not just a historical monument, but a dynamic, developing, present-day reality. The official Jerusalem salute, on the occasion of its 20th reunification anniversary, is presented by the Mayor, Teddy Connick. To all of those who will come and visit us here, and to all of those who may celebrate with us our 20th anniversary of uh, unification of the city, the best greetings from Jerusalem are welcome if you come here, and all the best if you are thinking of us. The new neighborhood of East Talpiot. At the Atias Primary School, pupils have a special study corner in which they learn about the JNF activities in Jerusalem and throughout the whole of the land of Israel. השנה אנו חוגגים עשרים שנה לאיחוד ירושלים, בירתו הנצחית של עם ישראל. ירושלים שלנו מזמינה אתכם לטייל וליהנות בפארקים וביערות הקרן הקיימת, שגם אתם הייתם שותפים לנטייתם. להתראות בירושלים. We, the peoples of Atiyah School in Talpiot Mizrach, Jerusalem, greet the children of Australia on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the reunification of our city. We want you to come to Jerusalem so we can take you to the lovely parks and forests that the Karen Akayemet created for us. We hope to see you in Jerusalem. My dear kids, it gives me great pleasure to bring you greetings from Jerusalem, the eternal city, in one of the most unique and special days in the history of the Jewish people, in one of the great days in the history of the State of Israel. Nobody can forget that day when over the radio every Jew in Israel and two minutes later all over the world heard the cry, Har Abayit Beyadeinu. Har Abayit Beyadeinu. And then, when the soldiers at the Wailing Wall gave in your name and in our name an oath that Jerusalem will never be divided. And we have, when we are celebrating today 20 years since Jerusalem was united, together with a greeting to all of us, we would like to ask you and to invite, come to Jerusalem. Be with us in days of joy and in days of trial and building. Because what we are doing here is building a Jewish state for the Jewish people. That is the great chance, the great opportunity, the great privilege to was given to our generations. From Jerusalem, the heart of the Jewish people, from the bottom of my heart, I send you, the Jewish kids of Australia, a greeting, le shalom, le vracha, le oz, le vinyan, ule sixug. Heyu bruchim, shalom.